Let's take the same flight we took in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in X Plane 11. We'll start in Fresno, Air Terminal, and fly to Lima 52, Oceana, or Pismo Beach in a 172. We're going to do this at night, and you tell me which one do you think is better for night flying X Plane 11 or Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? Okay, so here we are in the sim. We're sitting in the cockpit, and as you can see, we'll look around here. But for those that have done any real-world flights, when you get into an airplane at night um, the, without any lights on, it's pretty much like this, it's pretty dark. Go ahead and get this thing fired up. We'll go master switch. And again, with X-Plane, I can use my SciTech switch panel, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and put on the uh, battery and alternator master switch. All right, we got that running. And we'll turn on our rotator beacon. We'll jump outside the airplane and take a look at the glow here. There we can see it spinning around. And you can actually see it actually spinning in the tail of the airplane. And as it's spinning, you can see it blowing on the airplane itself. Jump back in the cockpit. If I look out the window here, you can actually see it diffusing on the strut. So if I look back behind, you can see it glowing behind the airplane. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. Don't need this. And we'll go ahead and, technically I don't need to use the mouse, I'll just use my switches here. We'll go, mixture prop, storage, fuel pump. Watching our fuel gauge here, fuel pump. Fuel flow is moving 3.78. And we're good, and off. All the way out and crack it just a little bit. Clear prop. Brakes are set. Good start. 950 on the RPMs. We'll go up to a thousand here. There we go. 1010. And looks like we got oil pressure is rising. Oil temperature is rising. EGT, exhaust gas temp is rising. We have vacuum, fuel is full. Let's go ahead and master avionics. There's our master avionics, which we will turn down a little bit. And we'll turn up our panels here, and we'll turn up our uh, secondaries and the pedestal. All right, we'll go ahead and turn on our taxi lights. And pedo heat's on. So pedo heat's on, taxi lights. If we look out the window, nav lights, and now we're glowing directly on the ground on both sides. All right, nav lights are on. See the rotator beacon, and let's take a look at it from outside. There we are, looking good. All right, jump back in the cockpit. All right, so we'll go ahead and check our controls. Uh, Free and clear. Look out the back window. You can see the tail. I see it moving up and down. Another glance this way. There we go. We're good to go there. All right. So again, I'm not going to be doing the radio calls like I normally would. So get this going. Now, one thing that you can do in this default Cessna that you couldn't do in Microsoft Flight Simulator is this, uh, which is a big deal to me. Uh, it's nice to pull this up. So now we'll go ahead and go PFD, wind, option one, option two. We'll do that. And we'll go back, back. We'll go transponder, set to uh, standby. And we'll go back. And we got our CDI set to GPS. Um, we're good to go there. We'll go ahead and do a direct to here. So we'll go direct to Oceana. Activate, yes. We'll say yes to that. We got that in our uh, MFD, multifunction. And I think we're okay. We're still getting alerts here. Nav data out of date. Okay. We're good to go there. We're going to cruise at 6,500. 
I think everything's looking pretty good. Alright, so our first direction we'll be going is 191 on our course. And we'll go ahead and put that back, take a look at it here. We'll widen the range here. Let's zoom in, there we are in the airport. Looks like we've got some traffic. Looks like somebody's getting ready to take off. There's a couple other airplanes moving around there. And again, this is uh, out of the box. Default X-Plane. Um, the default, again, the default uh, Cessna in my... Didn't have traffic. I thought that was odd that there was no traffic. So we'll zoom way out to see our track here. This time we're going to be going pretty straight across um, on our way over to Lima 5-2. So I think that is good. Looks like we're loading here. There we go. Trying to zoom out more and it's saying loading, which is interesting because that's kind of realistic actually. I like that. We'll zoom back in here. Alright, keep going. About right there. It's like someone's running down the runway. We should see them. There he goes. There. And that person is right in front of us. Yep. Alright. Snap that back. Snap that. Put, put this back. And we're good to go. Let me turn down the main panel here. Up above. And we're good to go. Taxi lights on. And we're ready. Alright, so let's go ahead. And again, we do the three W's, which are uh, who we're talking to, who we are, where we are, and if we're in the air, include altitude, and what we want. So in this case, again, Fresno Ground. So Fresno Ground, Cessna, November 172 Sierra Pop, at parking one, we're ready to taxi with information, whatever, or in this case, since we haven't called them up at all, uh, we Tell them we're uh, VFR 4500 to Lima 52 with information, whatever. They give us a squawk code, we punch in the squawk, and then we're ready to taxi, which we are right now. We give the, the first one that I gave a second ago. So let's just uh, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm thinking about getting Pilot Edge so I can actually do the calls, um, but I just don't feel like I'm on the simulator enough to warrant the cost. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and take off. If I keep doing this, just by the way, I don't have my glasses on. They're downstairs, but I don't want to stop the recording to grab them, so apologies for that. All right, we'll go ahead and get our brakes. Brakes are unlocked, check our pedals. Each individual brake. Trim is set, we're good to go. We're gonna pull back, it's a little bit warm today, so we'll pull the mixture back for taxi. And we'll go ahead and be on our way here. I'm sitting a little bit low, so I'm actually going to uh, stop here and adjust my track IR up just a little bit, because I'm actually a little bit low. There we go. Save. And now we can continue. All right, let's go. So you can see the diffusion of light on the ground is really good. Um, each light, again, as you can see right here from this light, I know, kind of difficult, but you can see it's kind of actually connected to a pole. It's not just floating. Um, it was very good. Let's check for traffic here. We got a lot of traffic roaming around the airport tonight. All right, looks like we're okay here. So straight ahead is the runway. We're going to turn here on uh, Bravo here. Um, one of the things that I really appreciate about uh, X-Plane at night is the night lighting. As you can see here, you have the green and white, green lights, uh, surrounded by blue. On larger airports like this, that's actually correct. You have the green lights, which are your taxiway lights. Um, so it was nice uh, coming back to this tonight and seeing those. So we've got lots of traffic. We got someone on the roll, two nine are right. Looks like we got someone just off. Man, they are really rolling right now. So here we are. This is ours here. Looks like we're the only ones using two nine are left. So here we are here. Uh, Bravo two at Bravo, and we'll go over here to this run up area. Right here, we'll kind of scooch in this way. 
and we'll come over here to the run-up area. So this is what I was talking about in the last video. You can see there's a designated actual run-up area, and this is actually depicted here correctly. So we actually see the natural run-up area um, right next to the runway here. We'll turn face into the wind here, and we'll go ahead and stop right there. Put our parking brake on, and we'll run her up 1800 RPMs, full rich. There's 1800, just hold it for a little bit. Engines in the green, all green. Left mag check. Good drop, both. Right mag check. And both. And this is not a carbureted engine, so we don't need to pull carb heat. And we'll go ahead and pull power quickly. Low vacuum, which is okay. 640, or back up one more time. 1500 RPMs. Six fifty. All right, we're okay. At this point, we'll bring it back up to thousand here. All right, seatbelts adjust and lock, fastened. We're good to go. We don't need flaps. Trim is set, and we will go ahead and do lights, which is taxi light off, landing light on, strobe lights on. Okay, there's lights. Cameras, transponder, camera, transponder, altitude, so that is on and running, back, action, full mixture, full rich, and fuel pump, gravity fed Cessna, we don't need it, we're good to go. Alright, so we'll go ahead and look here, and we'll taxi over to the lights here. It here and again this call something to the effect of Fresno Tower Cessna November 172 Sierra Pop holding short 29 or left at Bravo 2 ready to depart Cessna yada 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 it's clear for takeoff runway 29 and left proceed on blah blah blah, blah. check for traffic check the corridor one more time just in case we're good to go clear for takeoff 29 and left Cessna 2 Sierra Pop all right, here we go, heels down. Turn this down a little bit. Here we go, lots of runway. And full power, ease it in. Slightly forward on the oak. Speed's coming alive. A little bit of a crosswind. There's 60 and pull on back. 460. Push forward. We've got a crosswind. See the runway. Keep it tracking down the middle of the runway there. Got a bit of a crosswind. So we're going to go ahead and make our turn since we're in 290 left. Our turn here. Continue climbing. So here we are. We can see the night lighting. It is dark. If there's no lights, pull up just a little bit. As you can see, if there's no lights, that is pretty realistic. No lights anywhere, it's pitch black. We can see cars. Um, we can see their lights and we can see their their actual headlight coming out from the front you can see there very realistic but everywhere else is dark it's very 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 accurate it just has this kind of silhouetted shade shaded glow to it which is uh, very very accurate so now you see what, kind of what I'm talking about the glow of the headlights tail lights there um, the city's well lit but it's black and there's some lights down there 
couple houses lit up, but anything around it is dark. So now you can see kind of why I prefer X-Plane for night practice. There's a good example. Beautiful. It's dark. Uh, but it's also lit. You know, it doesn't look like dusk or dawn like in X or Microsoft. There's another shot of the uh, airport. But one thing, again, like I said in my other video, when you're coming in, the blue lights are hard to see. You kind of really have to hunt for the runways. If you don't have a rabbit or, you know, bass or some flashing light, it's difficult. There's your uh, highway there, very busy with cars, trucks, got the lights going there. So, and here we go, kind of see that it's very alive. So we're getting ready to come over here onto a freeway here. You can see all the traffic down there, their lights. Coming next to another freeway here. I'm going to jump outside the airplane real quick and let you kind of take a look. Turn this way. Oh, there we go. It's pitch black out there. Certain things are lit, but everything else it is dark. So this is uh, very realistic here. Let's go ahead and turn the autopilot on. Autopilot is on. We'll go ahead and go into heading mode. Heading mode is set. Actually, we'll switch over to nav since we're facing pretty much the right direction. And then we'll also, uh, it's like we're climbing uh, at 1100 feet per minute, which that's not going to work. We'll go ahead and do Vertical speed, three, four, we'll go 500 feet, let's do 400 feet per minute. Flight director, vertical speed, and F. All right. So there it is looking out the window. We can see the ground, you can see texture. You see there's stuff down there, but it's just dark. Um, this was exactly kind of how it looked when I went on my first flight at night. Very dark, there's Chandler. Before this flight, I updated and it looks like they updated Chandler because uh, the last time I flew X plane there were two runways, now there's just one. So my last video I actually said, hey, most simulators show two runways, but as you can see, uh, let me zoom in, there's just the one runway. As you can see here, just looking around a little bit, um, X plane is very alive. As I said in the last video, the cars are roaming around, but if there's no light on in, a uh, piece of land or a tree or whatever is just dark. That's what's directly illuminated by the light, um, which is correct. You can see there a really good job. That's very realistic looking lighting. You got some uh, buildings there, it looks like, some industrial buildings, but that's all that's lit up, nothing else. And then again, the ground isn't just lit for no apparent reason. Um, then up ahead, it's it's kind of pitch black. It's dark everywhere. Okay, so we are in cruise. As you can see down below, it is very dark. Out there is a couple of cities, but beyond that, uh, you look below, it is just dark, and that's very realistic. You have different towns that you can see in the distance as a glow of lights but if it's not directly lit it is dark so let's go ahead and jump out the airplane take a look tell me what you guys think so you can see the lighting on the plane it's very well done below us 
pitch black. Again, if that's just one giant field of trees and there's nothing down there, why would there be any light? And this is what you get in reality, and that's literally what it is. So there, you might have some roads out there. A few roads in the distance. There's Fresno back there, you can see, in the distance. But as we look here, it's just very dark. We might see a car or two driving around. And we'll see their lights, not the car, but the lights. So there's a couple cars, some towers over there. Look, there's a runway ahead of us. But this is it. This is uh, the reality of it. Okay. We're getting close to the mountains here. And as you can see ahead, since we're near the mountains, there's not a lot of light out there. It's, well, foothills. There's nothing out there. So we'll take a look here at what I'm talking about. But we're right here, and we're getting ready to come near the foothills, cross over, and again, there's no lights really because they're foothills. There might be a couple little lights out there you can kind of see, but not much going on in the uh, foothills or mountains. It's dark. I like this plane, it feels a lot uh, more capable, and, uh, to be frank, a little bit more realistic feeling than the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And again, this isn't a Carinado, this is just a out-of-the-box X-Plane default uh, 172. Um, a couple things I don't like about it, I don't, I don't know why you can't turn these lights off. Or, or I'm just, um, you can see here, showing. As you can turn it, but when I do, nothing happens. Scrolls. Maybe I can try. Going to work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Wish I could turn those lights off. And there's no landing lights, beacon, veto, and these are all your controls here. Avionics. There's standby instruments here. This one. Your full panel lighting. Battle soul and avionics. Not really sure, but that's too bad. Like to maybe I can pull a fuse. Pilots. Analyze stroke taxi pito. Nope. The default interior of the other plane is much nicer. This one's okay. The texture is good, it looks good, it's realistic looking. Both are nice planes, but this one definitely um, flies better, feels better. So here we are, it looks like we got a little street down there, a couple cars driving around. Uh, no synthetic vision on this airplane. I like the synthetic vision of default on the other one. So here we are looking out the window and there's nothing out there. It's dark. You need to monitor systems here, 105 on the ticker tape. 
115 across the ground, no wind. Looks like we got 51 miles to go here. Outside air temperature, it's pretty cold. Two degrees C at 6,500. Five ten, five point seven full flow, thirty nine psi, two thirty oil temp, EGT is okay. We have back electrical is good, about twenty six and a half volts. Nothing out of the ordinary. So we've been flying for about 55 minutes roughly. One of the best things about X-Plane uh, that I'm gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna not use it anymore, but um, definitely when Microsoft Flight Simulator matures, you know, hopefully listen to the users, um, it's just gonna get better. But one of the things that I appreciate about X-Plane is the huge uh, community of modders and the ease at which it is to mod, just drag and drop into the custom scenery folder, done. Um, and the majority of the stuff that I am running, you know, Orbix for XP, all that stuff is free. Um, if you want to go and buy Orbix or you want to go and buy any of the airplanes, I do have some paid airplanes, Carinado for instance. Uh, that's fine, those work as well. But there are a lot of uh, just free airplanes, free uh, scenery, and, and plug-in packages uh, with X-Plane that you just really don't see with uh, Microsoft. Hopefully, people can use their SDK, which they released, and start coming up with stuff, but I uh, just don't know um, how big the community is going to get. X-Plane is pretty huge. Fourteen minutes, we're at one oh five, one fifteen across the ground. In real world it is ten forty seven PM. Should get in right around eleven o'clock. Uh, my time here at night. Do have some pretty high terrain off our uh, left wing. But I know at 6,500, we're roughly 2,000 feet of rain. 
all the way uh, out here. So. That's where a terrain awareness system, TAWS, T-A-W-S, terrain awareness, or uh, your four flight, or some Garmin app come in real handy. Four flight, I think, is really taking aviation. I said in the last video, next level, uh, just the situational awareness of the flight bag. It's almost impossible with four flight to not be prepared or know. Um, what's on your route, what's coming, what the airport layout is. And if you don't and you need something right away, it's the best tool, uh, I think, for you know any type of deviation. Just instantly have information. Go out there in the pitch black after two of these buildings, the cities here, or the ocean, so pretty pitch black I'm getting close to where I can start descending here so we got some traffic down there traveling uh, through the foothills so what do I think of the difference between Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, Night Flying, and X-Plane. Well, as you can see, this from some of the stuff that I've showed you in this flight, um, again, this is a good shot out the window. It is pitch black out there. There's lights out there, and the lights are glowing in the vicinity of the light, but everything else is pitch black, and that is the reality of flying at night. Um, and there's, you know, even with a full moon, it's still dark. Uh, and if there's no moon, it's just even darker. So that was one of the biggest, like I said, one of the biggest lessons I learned in real world flying during my training was that first night flight. It is absolutely uh, ridiculously dark. You just can't see anything. But for all those people that have flown at night over the ocean, uh, kudos to you because, it, I mean, there really is no horizon. Um, and, you know, the people that travel around the world. I don't know how many of those people that have done an around the world flight uh, without an instrument rating and if you have done one, uh, congratulations because I just don't think I'd be able to do it personally without being able to fly on instruments, um, not necessarily IFR rated but understanding how to fly on instruments. Getting pretty close here. So San Luis should be right down there, and there it is. Nice airport. See some of the auto gen I was mentioning earlier is popping in, and again at night, auto gen has lights. But I think uh, for you know overall, long story short, I think. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is the next gen. Um, they have a few bugs they need to work out. It's only a couple weeks old. Um, it's only going to get better. Uh, we have the new video cards that are going to be coming out, the 30 series from NVIDIA. Um, so it's going to be really excited. I plan on upgrading on the video card. The CPU is fine, um, but I'm planning on upgrading the video card for sure. X Plane just does a better job at night um, this looks incredible at night so I think what I'm going to find myself doing is if I'm doing any night flight I'm going to fly X-Plane because this is very realistic um, there's a couple little quirks but overall um, it's accurate and then for any day or VFR flying uh, because of its accuracy with the Bing Maps Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 so we're getting pretty close here. Um, what I'm probably going to do is turn uh, the autopilot off, fly slightly south like I did last time, and then loop around to the airport on a straight in final. So let me go ahead and get ready for that. So real world, uh, we're going to be descending. So let's go ahead and descending checklist: seat belts fastened, landing light on, mixture as we descend. 
that's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and let's go back here. Turn on our uh, landing light. It's landing lights on. And we'll go ahead and turn off the autopilot and start heading down. Alright, autopilot is off. Double check that and we're turning. So go ahead and turn this direction here. And then we'll just pitch forward a little bit. We'll throw the trim well. Alright. We're headed down. Watching our RPMs, so you don't want to overspeed the engine on RPMs. I'm going to pull back to 2300 RPMs. I'm going to pitch forward. It's calm air, so we can go into the yellow of the uh, bead tape. So we're doing 134. And I can uh, have the runway in sight here. It's just to the right of my the oil compass on the sunscreen of, or the dash. You can see it. White lights going horizontally across that where we're going. So pretty high, got to get down. Doing a good descent here. Do a little bit more, like 1500 feet per minute. Bent. Start turning. over the ground just into the beginning of the yellow indicator on the speed tape 4100 and I can see we're clear of those mountains I'm going to turn right and out a little bit Lined up nice up here. And one forty over the ground. Descents are always fun. Every airplane's fast in the descent. Okay, so at this point, I tune my radio, listen to the ADIS, change my barometer, altimeter setting. Still descending. And now you can see that nice soft glow of the lights directly under whatever it's illuminating. So what we're about 3,000 feet, so we can go ahead and go full mixture, full rich. 2,600 feet. We go ahead. I got the airport beacon flashing. There's white. Should be green. There's green. And I really like looking at the rotated beacon on X-Plane because it's, it actually rotates. Actual uh, 3D rendered uh, object, which is pretty cool. I'm going to pull back on RPMs to 2000. There we go. Still descending at about 1100 feet per minute. Right not right about here. I'll just descend down to 1,200 feet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit under 1,200. Because 1,000 feet is going to be your uh, pattern altitude here. So there's 1,300 feet. So right now I'd make my call. There's a little bit under. The reason why is because I'm actually going to pull up to slow down. Lot here, 1200 feet. Are back up to 2000. 
bring out the trim. Make your call. Push hand of traffic. That's now November 1. 720 pop. Entering right base. Can't remember the runway number right now. Hit the runway number, obviously. Again, this was more of a test of night light, night flying. There you go, you really can see those lights. Beautifully rendered. And it is just pitch black out there. Alright, we're at a thousand feet. Go ahead and notch flaps. Notch flaps. Ocean traffic. That's a two Sierra pop on a three mile final. Full we'll stop, Oceana. So again, when you add this much flaps, you need quite a bit of power. Sixty-five knots. I came in a little fast at Microsoft. I'm try to come in a little bit slower here. I will just hold that. This is a lot more difficult than Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. You can see in front of me it is pitch black runway. All right here we go. Ride the bike. Power down. There's the runway. Hold it. Transition eyesight to the end of the runway. Realistic, very.